Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about gear treatment wars. Uh, kind of a crazy title here, but it's this struggle between gear and treatment. We got to have gear and we got to have treatment. And they both take up a lot of space. So how are we going to do all of this? How are we going to treat the room so that the gear works well? That's the goal here. We know we got axial, tangential, oblique modes. Axial between two parallel surfaces, uh, tangential four, and oblique all six, okay? Reverberation, reflections off these surface areas, reflections off the gear, reflections and pressure. Those are our two problems in small rooms. Buildup of pressure and the reflections for middle and high frequencies. We have the direct versus the reflected energy, the straight line energy from our monitors, right? To our listening position. That's what we want. We want that straight line sound. But we don't get that. We get all kinds of other issues with the room, right? So the goal is to balance this direct versus reflected energy. We got four walls and we got floor to ceiling problems. Your eight, nine foot dimensions, 60, 70, 80 cycle problems, floor to ceiling. To me, if I was a mix engineer, I would not want a modal issue at 60. Because then I got one at 120, I got one at 180, and that's right in that low mid-range, which is so critical to get right in mixes. So we got four walls, floor to ceiling, we got modes, reflections, all room distortion. So we got to treat this, okay? We got to treat the surface areas that produce these problems. How are we going to do that? Because as an engineer, we got all kinds of electronic tools that we have to have to do our craft. Just like I need room treatment tools, an engineer has to have a lot of tools, electronic tools. It blows me away, all the tools you guys use. I don't know how you keep track of them, but you all do. But there's a lot of them. And you can see in this picture that this engineer has a lot of tools, okay? I've never seen anything like this, you know, it's, it's just tool after tool after tool, okay? Well, we got to go after these modal issues. How are we going to do that? If we're going to get after 30 cycles, we got 16 inches of space we got to have. If we're going after 40 inches or 40 cycles, we got to have 12 inches of space. That's the given. We can change the height and the width of the, of the module, but we can't change the depth. How are we going to do that? We're going to use our carbon modules where we can change the height and the width, but not the depth. So in this room here, we're going to use our 12 inch deep panel, our carbon panel. And we're going to move the gear in. We're going to put the panels, the modules, stack them up behind the gear. And we'll put some under the desk to do the floor to ceiling situation. So you guys out there that, that have this kind of gear cluster, if you will, you know, we got to find space for treatment. How much space do we need for treatment? We're finding over all these years and, and using our technology that 50 to 75 square feet, that means square feet, of coverage is a good start. We can tune from there and go from there, but this is a good start. Our carbon technology is, you know, I'm not bragging here, but it's unbelievable. Engineers call me all the time and they say, Dennis, I have to learn how to mix the low end all over again. And when I hear that statement, I'm like, ooh, okay, what's he mean? But what he means is he hears more. He hears more low end. So he has to adjust his mixes accordingly. Wonderful. That's what we want. We want to get rid of the room distortion and just hear the music. So we're going to put stuff under the desk, behind the gear, <coughs> excuse me, to get that 50 to 75 square feet of surface area coverage that these small rooms use. The modules are small, two by two feet. We can stack them. Okay, there's lots of things we can do. A lot of people will put them on the sidewalls and they'll put gear on top of them, use them as a shelf, perfectly acceptable. It's all about the square footage to deal with the problem. Every wall surface in the room has a certain frequency and amplitude problem. Our uh, technology has a certain frequency and amplitude performance. So we match the performance of the technology to the problems in the room. So the gear treatment wars, a balance between space. Space in these small rooms is a premium. Unfortunately, to make them sound better, we have to make them physically smaller with treatment. 
And you guys are already doing that with gear. You're, you're adding a lot of gear, which shrinks the size of the room. So if you're in this situation with a lot of gear and you're going to have a lot of room acoustic issues, modal pressure, reverberation, and stuff like that, look at our modules. They're smaller, slide into places that other, our bigger units can't do, and we'll get the performance and the square footage requirements that you need. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.